whenever someone asks me uh, what I do for a living, uh, I uh, I don't say I'm a magician. I don't say I'm a entertainer, a performer. Uh, I don't say any of those things. I I say I'm a uh, a problem solver. I solve problems. That's what I do for a living. And one of the problems that I that I work on on a a, a desperate basis daily is how do you get someone to pick a playing card? I mean. Playing cards by themselves are fascinating uh, entities. It's 52 uh, cards that have different identities on the front, different faces, different numbers, different values, different everything. And they're all the same on the back. It's 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 an interesting uh, um, physical object, especially you put 52 of them together, not counting jokers. Uh, so you're really getting them to collect an identity for themselves throughout the rest of the effect, whatever you're doing. And so it, it, there's a big responsibility of how you get a person to pick a playing card. You've seen this. You've seen here, pick a card, any card, doesn't matter which one. You know, we've seen that. You've seen the uh, where they, they, they do the whole fan thing. I've never understood this one because it, it's like a Jenga moment you're setting up for yourself. They're going to pull, or all half the cards are going to fall to the ground. It's not a good way to do it. Um, and then you have other people who, uh, you know, I think just in the past 30, 35 years, this whole idea, I'm going to spring the cards from hand to hand. And as I do that, I want you to think of a playing card, not the top, not the bottom. Uh, that's too easy for me. There's a lot of different ways uh, to pick a playing card. Another way, and I really love this way. I, 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 well, I hate the word love, but I adore this way. And the reason I adore this way is because in, you don't really see this anymore. You, you Back in the olden days, Charlie Miller and Vernon, all those guys, that's how they used to do it here. Pick a, you know, And I like that because the psychological uh, idea here is that the cards are not in your hands. So I, you can't manipulate the cards, you can't force a card, you can't do anything crazy because the cards aren't in your hand. Ooh, this is fun though. I do like this. This is fun. Uh, sometimes I get this, let me see. 10 of hearts. Did I get it? That's awesome. You just gotta use your imagination sometimes. Uh, and then you'll have other people who they'll do this. You say, just do me a favor and say stop. And you, you'll say stop, and the, the, they'll take the card or what have you. They'll look at the bottom card. I mean, there's just a lot of different ways to pick a playing card. And I'm going to show you one of my ways that I uh, that I like, that I've been working on myself. It uses the imagination, right? So if you would, all of us just imagine we're separating those that this deck of cards in our minds. And you have two different piles. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> face up and face down, right? So turn one pile face up. Turn one, keep one pile face down. Just separate those, one face up. So 26 face up and 26 face down. And mesh those together. So really it's face up, face down, face up, face down, as much as possible, just in your imagination. Everybody do that? Good, good, good. Now, how do we, how do we prove this happened, though? How do we prove this happened? I mean, you could lie and say you did it. I wish, if only there's a physical object that we could use in this physical realm to prove that 26 cards are face up and 26 cards are face down. There's no way. That's not possible. And at this point, you, you don't touch them. They spread them. They spread the deck. And sure enough, face up, face down, all the way through. Boy, you guys, are your imagination is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So now that we've done this, I'd like you to pick a playing card. Now, I'm going to break character for a second. At this very moment, you turn your back and you keep your back turned until they square the cards back up again. <clears throat> Excuse me. But since I, there's nobody here, I have to do it myself. But I'm going to turn my head the whole time so you know I'm not looking. Now, here's the problem. I've done this 19 times now. And every single time, I have literally picked a face-down card. This is the 19th time I've recorded this, and it's all been because of this. But the only reason is because I don't have somebody here with me. But this is what it would look like back to character. Uh, I don't want you, I don't want, maybe I could gaze in your eyes and you could, maybe I could see which way you're going. So I don't want, I don't want to look over here. So I'll turn my back, okay? I'll turn my back. And what I want you to do is I want you to look at the card. Do you have a card in your mind? You got one? Good, 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 good. And I want you to, actually, you know what? Do me a favor, take it out. And show it to everybody. But make sure I don't see it. Make sure I don't see it. So now they would take it out. God, please. Lord. Lord of all lords. Please let this be a face-up card. Oh, my God. Please let this be a face-up card. Please. You can see that card, guys. If it's a card. God, I hope it's a card. 
and then you tell them to turn it face down and put it back close to where they got it or what have you and you have them square the cards up so they square all the cards up i'm only doing this i'm not turning around i don't want one person to go he turned around and saw it all right cool beautiful I hope I hope this is the one. You know I've said that every single time. Actually, I started saying it on the tenth time. I was like, God, I hope this is the one. <laughs> now we have the, we have a situation here. You have a card. You've selected it. You put it back into the pack, and uh, so and I, I have no clue what your card is. You've shown it to these people, yeah. And don't forget it. This is super important. Um, now, in order to do this, it's a two step process. So I've got to try and get the entire deck to turn facing one direction and not the group like down so all the cards facing down now i do know how to do this but i don't uh, i don't want to show you how it's done if that's okay so it's a it's a very ancient dark secret that has been brought down through magic and in the civilizations of the dark arts uh, so i'm going to put it behind my back i'm going to put the deck of cards behind my back now Usually I can do this in about five seconds. God, you really did mix them. You guys, your imagination's amazing. All right, here we go. Five seconds, count out loud with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. I did it. I did it. Huh? You don't believe me? You don't believe me? What about you? Do you believe me? You do? Yeah, that's stupid. How could I do that? That's insane. That that seems in, in, impossible. How could that happen? <laughs> That would be the weirdest thing. God, I hope it wasn't the Ten of Spades, was it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. It's going to be 20. It's going to be take 20, isn't it? My goodness. Well, maybe I could do something here. Maybe I could do something. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try to get every card. Let's try to get every card face down. Here we go. And if we've done it, if we've used our imagination, every single card is now face down. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I know. I know. Look, every single card, no lie, every single card is now face down. Every card. Now, the problem, of course, is this. I still don't know what your card is, and I don't know where it is. So I'm going to use the deck itself to help me try to figure out what your card is, okay? Just listen to the cards. Okay, that tells me it was a black card. Okay, it's telling me it's a, a spade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a face card. Is it the queen of spades? What? It is the queen of spades? That's good because that is the one that I had turned face up when you weren't looking. I'm so happy that we got it. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Gemini deck, and I am super, super excited about this deck. It's instantly reset right now. Um, everything I love about magic is inside this deck. Pre-order start right now.